Just let me know if you want me to bring minutes up. Well, I read some of these. I didn't get a chance to read them all, but I did read the April 1st one. And I put a check mark on my paper copy. So I didn't have any concerns with April 1st. I have read them all. I, I didn't have a concern with April 1st. Anybody else? I had no concern with April 1st. Now, August 5th consists of several different hearings, of course. The one on Sovereign, we actually segregated and approved earlier. Right. If you recall that, Mary. And then I had a conversation with um, our new town clerk, Amy. And at first, she was reluctant to post just a portion of that night's but I guess I convinced her to do it because Todd was in looking for proof <laughs> that he could show his bank uh, of what we had done. So collectively, we thought posting it on the website was one way to do that. So having said that, I didn't read the rest of them yet, but I can. You should, would you like to see them on the screen? I a paper so I could just. I was going to try to get it all done, but I didn't. But I can speed read this. Are we looking at August 5th still? Yeah. Anybody want them up? I'm okay either way because I've got them on my iPhone. So I'm... Okay. I, you know, I don't have that capacity. So let me just... Um... Mary, is his name Sam Hammer, or is it got an N in there? No, it's Han Hammer. Like the tool? No, it's got an N in it. It's it's an N M. Okay. Is he in the, are you reading it in the August 5th? Yeah, top of page two. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, because I'm thinking. Well, you've got it correctly based on what you said. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's correct. I'm just wondering if he, that's a description of the application. I don't have him da uh, down as attending this, but maybe he didn't because there are other people there for right. his right. company. <laughs> just wanted to make sure of that. So are we changing the name of Hanmer to something else? No, it's it's right in the minutes. Okay. It, it, no, I, I see it's got that red line under it. it it's it's just the process, the word processing. Thing. Yeah, no, I understand. I just that's really it. how he spells it. Yeah. <laughs>
<clears throat> yeah, I'm good with the rest of August 5th. Okay. Check mark there. I'm looking at October 7th. That's the one where you need some source information from me, Mary. I have a folder that I can pull out and hopefully have that. We're done with August 5th? Yeah. Okay. Now I was at I was not at that meeting, so but I can certainly put in any changes that are necessary. Okay. So Mary, on the source of the two uh, or the names of the two cases, how do you want to do it? I can give you, I can probably be easier. I can email you the legal citations. That sounds good. Oh, okay. All right. You know, the public cases that are available online. And, and so that would be one way of capturing them. And then you're asking me for my quotation beginning of the case that I read from. All right, so that was the quotation. Red was the... Uh, that was from the land court. The case. land court one, yeah. The Whitmore case. Oh, by the way, Whitmore doesn't have the normal spelling. Oh, okay. W-I-T-T, -T, so it's a double T, E, M O R E. Okay. I'll and, that. While we're at it, Aaron doesn't have the usual spelling either. <laughs> <laughs> it's A R O N. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and so, red. Hmm. Deborah, while, yes. Roger, while Roger is looking for that, can you scroll five lines above the number three? Number three or page three? 
actually the where the number three is i i don't i'm not sure whether it's <laughs> yeah okay so five lines above the number three uh my god it's different on my screen oh no uh okay no uh what, what are we which month are okay, we yeah yeah just if you're looking at last paragraph on page two of again, which I, of which month uh, are, October 7th, October okay. 7th, page okay, two. the paragraph that begins with speaking for Waitley, Got it. Holdings. okay, and if you go down to, uh, Samini said that their first consultant had given them bad information, but they are now partnered with an experienced, oh yeah, <laughs> okay, consultant, I guess, or yeah, grower or whatever. I think I was going to put partner and then I realized I had just used that. So yep. <laughs> never got back to it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's partner. I think it was a consultant. Okay. Right. But okay. I, it's fine to use it twice. It's, Mary. It, it's okay to say that someone's partnered with a consultant. Oh, okay. Yeah. Partnered with an experience. I think he, the guy is a grower. Uh, that Okay. That's. Was an, was an experienced uh, I, I, grow manager or grower. I guess if you're going to be experienced in what they need, you'd have to be a grower. <laughs> right. Yeah. So Mary, you're making these notations. You don't need me to make them. Well, I'm scribbling them on my paper. That's, okay. That's, so it's, it's working. So That's far. fine. Okay. I don't want to make it any more. I don't want to complicate it. <laughs> and I found that quotation, Mary. Now this is the quotation from the land court that explains why it pertains to this case. Is that what you're gonna give me? Right, so that you have it on the top of page five, you have that gray shading and you have the set, there you go. Oh you yeah, yeah, it, I got the whole, the whole sentence except you got the second half of the second that part. That's only if it is not economically feasible. There was, I, there was just a short bit in front of that, I think. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. So it, it reads, <clears throat> in fact, comma, a substantial hardship, comma, financial or otherwise, comma. Okay, just a minute, please. <laughs> In fact, a substantial hardship, comma, uh, financial or otherwise, comma. Okay. Is satisfied. And then it picks up with the word only that you've got there. Right. And but the rest of what I have looks. One of, your, one of your next words isn't correct. So it actually oh. says. Only when it is not. Not if, when. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the other the only other thing for that is you said you'd email me the identifying information so I can call it whatever you'd need to look it up. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. And normally this all goes on in the documents reviewed section where it says kept these these all these things are kept in the ZBA files. Um, what I can keep what you send me. I can send you the whole cases if you want. I mean, I don't know how much I need. I, this hasn't really come up before that I can recall. I, I had 
figured, you know, these things must go on for pages and pages, but I don't, I don't know. Roger, what? isn't isn't it enough to just send the citation? I think so. I, I yeah. think as long as they know what it is and how to get it. Yeah. Where, yes. Where, yes. Where, where would they go to access it? You know, that, that would be good. Lexus Nexus. Lexus Nexus. <laughs> Does that have a hyphen or get, is it just? It, it, it's two words, right, Roger? Yes. It's yeah. L-E-X-U-S and then N-E-X-U-S and is yeah. it dot, dot something? It's I-S, L-E-X-I-S. Oh, okay. Lexis. And the next, I'm not sure what the next is. I, what, 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 yeah. I think Nexus is U-S. Probably right, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's, it's just a, a database of all the legal cases. And you get to it by going to LexisNexis dot something. Is it or they can, they can or? put LexisNexis into Google and they will okay go down a rabbit hole of <laughs> that's the problem, the rabbit hole. <laughs> you can come look for your needle in our haystack. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm good with um, October 7th. Okay. I'm good with it, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Hannah's here. Let me let her in. Hello, Hannah. Oh, somebody else is here named Beth Lucan. So do we want to bring up any the next group of minutes or yes okay december 2nd uh we have april oh i thought we did april you started with april yeah. oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry okay <clears throat> so our last so april 1st and, and august 5th were okay as it is october 7th has uh a couple of uh additions that need to be made. And oh. now we're on December 2nd. Okay, I'm sorry, folks. This this was, let me go back to the screen. We've done October. Yes. What are we looking for next, December? December 2nd. Okay, I'm right. So, oh, that's right, I'm sorry, okay. Now, this one's pretty easy because we looked at it last time and we had two changes noted at that time, which Mary Better has give them to me again. <laughs> Mary, well, Mary has made them. Okay. Mary has made them. The date was incorrect. And then it said stored by the, you had stored by the planning board, but now you have. Oh yeah. By the DBA. So from my perspective, I'm fine with December 2nd as amended. Okay. I agree. Yep, me too. Okay. So I guess we would just need a vote on the ones that are amended as written and the one that's amended October 7th needs to be, it's approved with the amendments we just covered. All right, well, I, I would make the motion. Second. Ooh. 
I. <laughs> So, do we have any other business? I, um, Beth Lucan, you have come into the waiting room. Is there something you wanted to bring up? Or into the hearing, excuse me. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, hi. I just um, came in because I just realized that the, you guys were going to be discussing green jeans tonight. And I think I missed everything pretty much. Um, but I'm in a butter. Uh, well, in a butter, I'm uh, between the Smirowski's and um, the Smirowski's property is between us and uh, the proposed green jeans site. And we can very much see behind our house. Um, the uh, greenhouses and all of the site where this is going to be. So it's basically kind of in our face. And I <laughs> wanted to see how things were going, um, where things were at for green jeans. So a month ago, we approved their special permit application. Yeah. And then tonight is just an administrative meeting for review of past minutes <clears throat> for various other meetings, including the December 2nd meeting. So those minutes were just approved, but we're not, we're not revisiting any issues concerning any of these cases. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the, the planning, um, Beth, the planning board had a meeting with the green jeans on it. Uh, I think it was the 25th of January. Yes, I, I listened in on that you one. You were there, okay. Raised yeah. a couple of concerns, but um, so I'll be, eager to see what they come back with uh, at the next meeting. Right, it's it's planning board business now. <laughs> yeah, so as far as you guys are concerned, they're good to go, is that what I'm hearing? Well, we wrote up a decision that specifies what they can do and what conditions they can do it under. And that um, decision either is, was filed today or it's gonna be filed in the next couple of days with the town clerk. Uh-huh, okay. So everything is kind of sitting with the planning board at this point then? Yes. Okay, all right, good. Okay. Well, um, as I say, I was a little late to the party, but I just wanted to see what you guys had to say about the proposal. All right, well, good luck with the planning board. Thank you. Um, Anything on taps that you know of from March, Mary? I haven't heard anything or received any kind of application in the mail. Maybe it'll be a quiet year. Sure. It's certainly our busiest year. Yes. Uh, this past one, when I wrote up the uh, report for the town report, we had so many hearings. And again, thank you for that, Mary, for compiling all that and keeping it on a spreadsheet. Thank you. <clears throat> I think it was the only way to do it this year for sure. I think so. I think for the hearings, we had the number of hearing sessions worked out to be about triple what we normally have in a oh, year. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Hey, if anybody knows someone who's looking for a job as a bookkeeper, and an opening at my firm that we've been trying to fill some time now. Okay. <laughs> Hi, this is Hannah. Hi, Hannah. How are you? We are well. How are you? I'm well, too. Thank you. Um, I am logging on just to give you guys a quick reminder to designate your representative for the housing committee. Um, I know Fred Orlowski expressed interest. Um, no need to give me a decision right now, but 
just a quick reminder, we're trying to convene the committee uh, relatively soon. We're still waiting to hear back from the state about the housing production plan. So Fred did express interest? Yes. Okay. I vote for Fred. <laughs> yeah. I'm all for Fred. <laughs> okay, awesome. I, I figured that was probably the case, but um, I thought I should check in with everyone just in case. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And if you need to use the library next week, you're not going to be able to because we're beginning construction on the uh, ADA compliance lift project. So there's going to be lots of drilling and noise going on ne beginning next week. Are you on that committee? I'm the chairman of the board of trustees. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. so I'm on that committee. This could be a record if we get done at 7.05. Yeah. My clock says 7.06. <laughs> well, I think we are done. Okay. okay. So Roger, I did drop off the decision. Bob's gonna sign it on Monday for Green Jeans. And so we will be good to go on that. Yeah, I was able to use the templates that we have available now. Yeah, they're much easier. And I think if we if we ever go back to in person, um, you know, I can bring a laptop and we can write the decision at at that time because we've got that template now. Sounds good. Yeah. Good. All right, folks. Okay. All right. Good night, Stay everyone. Well, everybody, I'm going to stop good night. recording. Thank you.